Ole Miss. What the hell? Flag down. Just... Uh, how you get another false start? You just had one of those. They ain't, look, they shaking. They shaking. They are shaking. <laughs> LSU is shaking. What another false start? Oh, whoa, 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 bro. They want Ole Miss to win this game right now. Here we go. Whoa. Pressure. He better chuck it. And it's up. That's it. Ole Miss wins. Ole Miss wins. That's it. <laughs> this game right here, that game, that game was crazy. So I just want to talk about my initial thoughts and impressions on the game. Man, let's start out with why LSU lost this game. They got off to a slow start. That is the basics of it. That's really the reason why they lost. Their offense could not be stopped after that. But the slow start ended up costing them. Even though they came back and took the lead for a little bit, the defense of Ole Miss started to crank it up towards the end. But I honestly believe they did not get out to the start. So start, how many um, they scored? They scored seven in the first quarter. Ole Miss scored 21. And then you crawling and crawling and crawling to get back into it. And you scored 21 in the second. And then you score 14 in the third. But then you let Ole Miss score 21 in the fourth. But if you start off hot, like you did the entirety of the game, you would have been just fine. You end up losing 49-55, which, hey, it is what it is now. You are three and two. What is LSU gonna do? Three and two already? Your, your playoff chances are over at this point. It's done finito. You can't lose two and think you're going to the playoff. You just cannot do it. Ole Miss four and one, keeping the hopes alive. I wonder where they're gonna drop. Like, I say drop, I guess it's go up in the rank. You know what I'm saying? Where, I wonder where they're gonna go up in the ranking. Do you put um, Ole Miss at, I don't know, 15 maybe? I think that may be a good slot for them. 15 is a good spot for Ole Miss to be in after this win. But the slow start from LSU and the defense not being able to crank it up at all at any point in time in the game. They had a good third quarter, gave up three. But other than that, you gave up 21 in the first and the fourth. You started out giving up 21. You ended the game giving up 21. LSU defense has to do better, giving up all those points to an Ole Miss team that could not score more than 20 against Alabama last week. So you see that LSU is definitely not ready for prime time, but each day is different. One game, you will have a team score a whole bunch of points, and then the next game, they won't do nothing. They won't do a damn thing. So looking at this, let's just look at a couple of players here. We got Jaden Daniels, who played an excellent game, four touchdowns, 27 for 36, 414 yards. Excellent game. Let's look at um, Dart, man. What did Dart do? Dart, 26 for 39, 390 for a touchdown. The quarterbacks did whatever the hell they wanted to in this game. The quarterbacks did what they wanted to when they wanted to in this game, man. I do want to say this, man. Shout out to Jukins, man. I think this is his best game of the season. Best game by far, man. He went 33 carries, a buck 84. Insane. Insane, man. So shout out to um, Jukins, man. I wonder what was going on with Jukins, man. Last year, I was like, man, I wish he was on my team, you know what I'm saying? But we, we still stack, so I, I can't feel that way. Uh, I'm an Alabama fan, by the way. I, I like Jukins, though. I like Jukins. The man's a stud. Um, slow start this year, by the way, though. Slow start. But he, he came the night, 184, 33K. Look, 5.5 5 average per had a touchdown. So, hey, Jukins showed out. Played a good game. LSU's running back. Logan Diggs, one-on-one. -on -one, had to, They almost had two running backs at 100 yards, bro. Jaden Daniels. I said running back. Jaden Daniels is a quarterback. I just saw the yards, but I didn't see. Jaden Daniels himself almost had 100. He had 15 carries for 99 yards. <laughs> I, I didn't look to the left and see. I just see it said Jaden. Um, I just saw the carries. It said 15 carries, 99 yards. And I looked to the left of the screen. It says Jaden Daniels. <laughs> My bad, my bad. But you almost had two people rush for 100. Um, the running back went for 101. So, either way, like I said, the offenses did whatever they wanted to do. But at the end of the day, Ole Miss defense did just enough to squeak by and get this dub. They made plays when they needed to. And that's a huge difference in the ball game right there. And so, you're looking at the stats. You heard me call about all that, man. Look, LSU, your defense didn't, did not come to play. And your offense started out slow. That's why you lost. I mean, you can say that about any game, but I mean that it's just it was a shootout from the start. And the defense of Ole Miss made that one or two more plays, and it was almost over early. 
all L all um Ole Miss had to do really was just like knee the ball down. Or I say knee the ball. Could have ran a little bit, got some time off the clock, and we wouldn't have had that dramatic finish. But they decided to, you know, you know, give us more of a um heartbeat or uh more of a you know no heart felt rust right there at the end <laughs> so hey i like it good college football my initial thoughts though is that lsu is done that's it I, they probably are gonna move to if old miss is 20 you lost them. they probably move to like 22 23 i can see that um so that's probably where they're gonna be ranked i think lsu probably right now after that loss that's probably where they should be but i think that lsu team offensively you know, they got it figured out almost reminds me of a usc of the sec in a way got that great great offense but the defense struggling but i've seen their you know i've seen the opposite from them sometimes but <sighs> that's it lsu what are you gonna do now what are you gonna do now it's interesting let me know what y'all think about this game i thought it was pretty good and a lot of people, I, I know a lot of Ole Miss fans, you know, a lot of them counted their team out in this game, saying LSU is going to beat them down. And you see, and, and look, Ole Miss did not play around. Well, they kind of did. But <laughs> but still, though, that uh, Ole Miss, I'm highly impressed. I'm surprised that y'all was able to pull it out. And I thought it was going to be a close game. I was telling people it's going to be a good game, but I did have LSU winning it. But I thought it was going to be close. I was like, it's going to come down to who can uh, do the small things, which a lot of times that's how it works. But it was especially, like, shown in this game. Like, you saw some big plays, but you saw a lot of long drives in this game. Like, long drives from, from, this, uh, from these teams. And it was interesting because when they got short field position, like, toward the end of the game, they couldn't score. What the hell was that? You start out... You got 75 yards to cover and get a touchdown. You can do that. But when you got 45 to, to 40, you can't do that. It, it was mind-blowing. It's mind-blowing. But anyways, I could go on the rant about this game all day. Oh, the Alabama game is on and playing uh, Mississippi State right now. I'm seeing it. Oh, we got oh, they got stuffed right there. But it's still it's third and maybe two right there. But Alabama looks to be about... Oh, get them cowbells out of here. They look, Alabama looks like they're about to score again. I'm about to go and watch that, man. Let me know what y'all think about this one down below, man. I'll I see y'all in the next video.